Hello and welcome to our channel. Have you ever fantasized of quitting your job working 9 to 5 and starting a successful business based on an idea that you've had for years? It's possible that you have a spark of the entrepreneurial spirit in you. Someone with this kind of ambition assumes the responsibilities as well as the potential benefits of their efforts. Although every successful business leader is an individual, they frequently exhibit similar personality characteristics that contribute to their achievements. You might find it useful to examine some of the following traits of successful entrepreneurs. The process of creating and managing a new firm with the goal of making a profit while managing the associated financial risks is known as entrepreneurship. A successful entrepreneur is one who can identify novel approaches to resolving issues and providing value to clients most frequently through the development of new goods and services or the establishment of new target markets. One subset of entrepreneurs are those who run businesses related to online commerce. They market and sell their goods and services on the internet, utilizing channels such as social media and search engine optimicity to extend their sphere of influence as much as possible. You have probably come across the proverb that says, no risk no profit while beginning any new company venture this is something to keep in mind profit is the primary reward for beginning a successful business whereas the inherent risk is failure which may result in personal and financial failures profit is the primary reward for starting a successful business it is estimated that approximately 75 percent of startups that receive funding from venture capitalists are unsuccessful for a variety of reasons including cash flow issues supply chain issues, high employee turnover, and even unanticipated events such as a global pandemic. Therefore, successful entrepreneurs need to have some level of risk tolerance. Despite this, a significant number of business owners take measures to proactively mitigate their risks and safeguard their companies before going into business for himself full-time. Business founder Edwin Brony Mensa, for instance, started his social impact company GiveMetap as a side hustle. GiveMetap's mission is to increase the availability of clean water around the world. Every enterprise must begin with a vision. This is the intended path that the company will take and its overarching goals, regardless of how challenging it may appear to accomplish them. When things become rough, stakeholders like your employees and investors look to you and your vision for direction, motivation, and decisive leadership. This is especially true when things aren't going as planned. You can construct a vision statement to announce your aspirational aims in addition to a mission statement, which specifies the business objectives of your organization and the strategy it intends to use to achieve those objectives. When you are in charge of a new venture, you will frequently experience periods of exhaustion and low levels of self-motivation. Entrepreneurs need the discipline to keep going and perform the work even when they don't feel like it even if they have a good idea. If you want to become more self-disciplined, you should concentrate on developing good habits, such as writing down your goals, making a timetable, and engaging in regular physical activity. Be persistent in the face of difficulties so that you can accomplish what you set out to do. One of the qualities that distinguishes a great leader is the capacity to view setbacks and mistakes as educational and personal development opportunities. Although it is practically impossible to be ready for every possible eventuality, adaptable company leaders respond positively to change by adjusting to the new circumstances. In a world that is always shifting in terms of both its business practices and its requirements, adaptability is a personality quality that is absolutely necessary. Leaders that have versatilities with failure or success and have the resilience to quickly overcome problems. After several years, business owner Mike Solgero discovered that one of his companies wasn't taking off. He then noticed a fresh potential in the market shipping high quality meat items under a subscription model and established butcher box, which was successful. The ability to influence and direct others is essential to leadership, regardless of the size of the organization being managed. These are skills that are applicable to every kind of business. Good leaders communicate their vision, build well-rounded teams that complement their own abilities, and have confidence in both themselves and the products or services they sell. Carla Welch, a stylist in Los Angeles and the founder of The Period Company, demonstrates leadership by utilizing her platform to shift views about the menstrual products we use. 
the impact they have on the environment, and how to fulfill the needs of customers in an inclusive manner. The ability to perform well in a particular art form is only one aspect of what it means to be creative. Entrepreneurs that are creative and imaginative locate sources of inspiration or use their imaginations to find solutions to issues, typically while working with limited resources. Nora Rahimian, a business consultant and the founder of the organization CultureFix, defines this category as those who are working towards achieving their goals on their own terms. Creative people are constantly looking for new ways to enhance their products, services, and ideas in order to provide more value to their clients. You can improve abilities in strategic thinking by figuring out what motivates you, reading and studying some of the best books on entrepreneurship, and cultivating habits that assist creative thinking. Curiosity is one of the most important traits of an entrepreneur since it enables them to always learn new things and find new opportunities. Instead than being content with the way things are, entrepreneurs continually seek out new challenges and investigate other approaches to delivering innovative products and services to their clientele. For instance, the inventor of the company, Ross McKay, saw that many plant-based meats contained unhealthy processed chemicals and pondered whether or not it was conceivable to eliminate chicken from the food system while simultaneously providing a healthy alternative. McKay was able to develop Daring, a chicken replacement manufactured with only six ingredients and plenty of nutrients, thanks to his natural curiosity and his will to succeed. Daring is currently causing a stir in the plant-based food sector. Thank you for watching and remember to let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe.